Come on. Hey, there's a storm coming. You better come on. Everybody's getting really big now. Okay, we're getting really big. Come on. Better come on out here. You better get out here and get safe. Yeah. Say, here's everybody. Are you getting too big now? You getting too big? All right. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Rapture Alerts. My name is Sean. If you're just tuning in, this is just a guy talking about Jesus. That's all I do over here. Well, guys, I hope you're having a great Sunday and that you got plenty of rest last night and that you're feeling good today. I prayed for your families and your children last night, so I hope those prayers are working. Today, we're just going to look at a couple of uh, current events that are going on in the news that you may or may not have seen. But there's more birth pains that are ramped up, and I believe that we are one step closer to going home and Jesus rapturing us out of here. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to go ahead and open up with prayer and then we'll look at a few verses with these articles we're going to take a look at but i'm going to pray for you guys hard today and i hope that you have what you need today and that you remain steadfast in your faith and disciplined because the lord is about to take us home so like we always say let's be waiting in a manner that he finds pleasing to him for everything that he's done for us we owe him that and we owe him our faith, our love. We have to give Jesus everything because he died for us on the cross and he rose again on the third day. So let's lift him up today and glorify him and let's have our fellowship and our discipleship and a great study. I want you to share this channel and I want you to continue to represent the kingdom and tell people about Jesus that need to hear him. If you do that, I'm telling you that you will be rewarded but we don't want to do it for the rewards. Do it because it's the right thing to do. But think about the fact that you will have crowns to throw at his feet for the work that you do for the kingdom. So speak out today for Christ and tell somebody that needs to hear about him, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you now and I give you thanks for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for paying the ultimate price and taking all of that pain and punishment. Father, we will never forget everything that you did for us there you are the king of kings and the lord of lords so father i pray against the enemy right now for my subscribers this is your channel please allow me to continue to be a good steward of it but i pray that these trials end i pray that you make a way through the trials for their families their children the ones that are sick in their family right now jesus the ones that do not believe in you, the ones that are not saved. I pray that their hearts be open today, Father, and that they give you another chance before it's too late. Please speak to our hearts and open our minds. We are waiting for you patiently, Father, but we are very excited that you're coming to take us home to paradise. We just can't wait. We will hold on, and we will wait patiently for you. We're very excited, Father. Please speak to us today, and we will continue to lift you up and glorify you and your kingdom. And we just thank you for everything that you've done for us, Father. Amen. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with our study, and we'll have a great time hanging out. Here is another precursor, I believe, to the tribulation and the great tribulation. Since there are no signs leading up to the rapture, it is the next thing to happen. That's what I'm saying. It's going to take everybody by surprise. Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. If you're not saved and going by John 14, 6, you are playing with literal fire. So take a look at what the title of this article says. Evacuation orders issued for latest California wildfire amid scorching heat wave. So you've got this tremendous heat wave that is not only in California, but just across the globe right now. And you've got these wildfires kicking back up. Those could be coming from uh, individuals setting those, arsonists. Those could be coming from lightning strikes. There's a plethora of different reasons. But I want you to take a look at this. And if somebody is still on the fence and not saved today, and you're thinking about giving your soul to Jesus, I want you to look at the heat right here. And I want you to try to imagine just how bad hell is. This is nothing compared to the heat that's down there. It's fueling a raging wildfire in Northern California. 
about 2,000 firefighters battling the Thompson fire in 110 degree heat. Nearly 30,000 people evacuated, thousands of homes and structure in the path of flames. ABC's Melissa Dawn tonight is on the fire line. Tonight, 4th of July fireworks banned in Butte County, California, and celebrations scrapped. The stubborn Thompson wildfire forcing close to 30,000 people from their homes, authorities warning the community. Don't be an idiot. Cause a fire and create more problems for us. What is the messaging moving forward? When you're told not to use them, don't do so. The blaze scorching more than 3,700 acres and still only 7% contained. Four structures destroyed and thousands more tonight in jeopardy. Residents leaving their homes in desperation. It's going to be hot. It's going to be a tough fire fight. Nearly 2,000 first responders fighting the flames in triple digit temperatures, four suffering heat related injuries. Firefighters here in Oroville working to put out hot spots as they work to contain this wildfire. It's awful. It's gut wrenching. Mark Alvideres says he, his wife, and dog had only minutes to leave their home in Oroville, calling it surreal. The sun was being blurred out. You see neighbors just panicking and trying to get out. That's when it hit me like, this is real. I got to leave. Guys, that should just take your breath away. If you are somebody that is not saved right now and you're watching this and you think these are just regular news articles, this is just run-of-the-mill stuff, everything's normal, nothing to see here, I'm telling you that you're mistaken. You have had a veil pulled over your eyes and you need to get saved right now and give your soul to Jesus Christ. You just got done hearing a reporter tell you firefighters are injured out there. They have heat exhaustion. They have heat-related injuries. This is heat is intense but it's nothing compared to what a burning lake of fire is going to be so you don't want to be playing with fire right now give your soul to jesus make the right decision and avoid the tribulation you will be raptured out of here if you believe in jesus and repent of your sins and give your soul to him ask him for forgiveness today this gentleman that just got done telling you hey it is blocking the sun out i want to get you over here and have you look at joel 231 this is not exactly tied to that event, but I, I believe it to be a precursor to it. It says the sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and awesome day of the Lord comes. The day of the Lord is separate from the rapture. The day of the Lord comes after we are raptured. And I believe the rapture to be the next thing to happen. So you have to be prepared for that. The way that you prepare for it is you give your soul to Jesus and you submit to him. You fear him. And you're going to be on the narrow path but that veil that's been pulled over your eyes i'm trying to lift it up the holy spirit's trying to lift it up jesus wants it to be removed so that you can see what's really going on all right guys let me get you over here to the next article this is a trend that we saw in america i mean quite frequently was the train derailments this one is in north dakota and it says this is a day ago. Go ahead and take a look at this. Now in North Dakota, federal investigators are trying to figure out what caused this train carrying ammonia, sulfur and methanol to derail in North Dakota, spilling hazardous material and sparking a massive fire. It happened just before four o'clock this morning outside Carrington. For now, nearby towns are not being evacuated. Witnesses say dozens of cars went up into flames after the train went off the tracks. It is not clear if anyone was hurt. I want you to take a look at this hurricane barrel. This one says five days ago and it made landfall just north of Grenada. Take a look at this. Southeastern Caribbean, puncturing schools in the Grenadines and slamming the coast with wave after wave of damage and debris. Similar snapshots are pouring in from places like Grenada and the island of Karakou, where the National Hurricane Center says Beryl made landfall as an extremely dangerous system producing catastrophic winds and life-threatening storm surge. Grenada's Prime Minister offering a sobering assessment and warning. We have reports of extensive storm surge. We have uh, reports of extensive loss of roof and damage to buildings. There is the likelihood of even greater damage. As palm trees bend and storm surge floods communities across the Caribbean, making large boats bob up and down in Barbados, an even more jaw-dropping vantage point from space. All right, guys, I'm going to stop it right there. That storm is very, very intense. It's done a lot of damage. I'm going to continue to pray for those that are affected by it. 
Can you see your king in these videos that we're looking at? You should be looking through your spiritual eyes and see that that is Jesus. He is in control. Jesus is God. He stands outside of time. He's omnipotent. He's all powerful. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's very precise with everything that he does. There's no mistakes. I did want to show you what the primary religion is in Barbados. It's predominantly Christian, with 75.6% of the population identifying as Christian in 2020. So if they are primarily Christians there, why is God allowing these terrible things to happen? Take a look at 1 Peter 4:12 through 13 suffering as a Christian. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. Everything is precise, guys. There's no mistakes that our teacher and our master and our Lord and Savior Jesus is making. He has everything under control. And these are part of the birth pains. They have to happen. No man can stop them. We already looked at Luke 21, 25, but I'm bringing it back up because of this last part right here. Did you see the intensity of that storm? Unbelievable, right? It's jaw dropping to see these things unfold. He's coming back. That's exactly what it means. Let's jump over here to Revelation 21 4. The reason I brought this out is because if we're going to talk about the bad over here, the trials, the tribulations, the birth pains that we have to take a look at that are sometimes hard to witness. I'm going to show you the good as well. Revelation 21 4. This is what you have to look forward to. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain anymore for the former things have passed away. This is where we're going, guys. This is the reason I get up every day. It's the reason I continue to put one foot in front of the other and I refuse to give up. I am working for the kingdom. I'm trying to lift you up and give you hope and remind you, you are not crazy. These things are happening. You have to continue to represent the kingdom until he arrives. We're commanded to do it and so we must. Revelation 20 verse 3. Listen to how awesome this is. This is what's going to transpire very soon. And threw him into the pit and shut it and sealed it over him so that he might not deceive the nations any longer until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be released for a little while. I love the first part of this because this is what you have to look forward to as a Christian. I want you to read that on your screen and threw him into the pit and shut it and sealed it over him. You're going to be rewarded if you make the right decision, if you come to Christ today. And if you're already a believer and you remain steadfast in him, you're going to have many crowns. Continue to work for the kingdom and spread the gospel. You shouldn't be ashamed about anything to do with Jesus or him giving his life for us. Guys, I love you. I miss you. I'm praying for you. If the rapture isn't right now, a few moments from now or even tonight, just do what we always say over here. You keep looking up and we'll see you up top.